Good morning. Today's vlog is going to be a little different because we're going separate ways. I'm off to the Adventure Overland show. And I'm off to the Overland show, but also to Radio 2 for the weekend. <laughs> It is really lovely to be back at Oak Tree and having a quick catch up with everyone. But look what I've spotted already when we got here. I remember standing for these photos last time. What a set of likely lads and lasses. So my home for the weekend is this auto sleeper Warwick Duo. It's a 2.2 litre manual engine. So I've got to remember gears, gears, gears. And it's a two sleeper. Let's get it packed. <laughs> Good grief, it feels like I've got a ridiculous amount of stuff for two days, but we've got to remember this is the UK and it's September. I'm expecting all four seasons in one day. So I have two coats, the big one and a raincoat. I brought two brand new sheets um, because we need one in the motorhome anyway. So for a fiver at Morrison's, it seemed like worthwhile getting two brand new ones. Oh my goodness, I've got vest tops and thick woolen socks. Woolly jumper, my two favorite leggings, which I may or may not wear. It depends on my mood. Baggy harem trousers. Found my makeup bag. Wasn't sure where it was. I was going to put some on today, but now I've realised that I'd already packed it and couldn't find it. Makes sense. Skin care. Yes, I'm getting older. I need a lot. Medical handbag. I always carry this with me. It's got everything from antihistamines to plasters to eye drops and to lip balm that's got an SPF in because I'm prone to cold sores. So there you go. I always carry this in my handbag. Is that maybe a mum thing? Hair straighteners, because you never know. Fancy coffee maker, I might tell you about that later. And a water bottle. In here I've got all my kitchen essentials. I'm not planning to cook in here particularly. We might have something, but it's unlikely that we're gonna be in the van during the day much. So I have my Blackpool tea towel, a fancy gooseneck kettle, my cable, my three-way cable, coffee pods for my coffee machine, chocolate digestive biscuits. Tell me in the comments what your favorite biscuit is because for me, it's a digestive. Although recently we've discovered Biscoff, but they're a bit of a slippery slope, I think. Next, I'll be buying Biscoff spread. Two mugs and two Roman Radford wine glasses. Actually, they can be hot drinks as well, but you know, wine. Washing up sponge, washing up liquid, paper plates, baby wipes. Now these and my toothbrush are for the bathroom. The chances of me remembering to take out my baby wipes and my toothbrush at the end of this are very, very slim. Because we're going to a festival, I've got extra wet wipes. Squirty squash, that's to encourage me to drink more water. Kindle, it's not really a kitchen thing, is it? The one bit of food I've brought is a tropical trail mix. An inhaler, because I do have asthma. No, not so much anymore. A plug, do I need this right now? Always keep it. <laughs> my kettle looks so lonely in there. I didn't even bring a pan. Put my tea towel in with it. And my water bottle and my fancy coffee maker, which I should show you later. She might be asking yourself, why on earth am I up here at Oak Tree borrowing a camper van when we've got such a lovely motor home at home? Well, there's two reasons. The first is I'm going to an inner city for a festival. I'm going to the Radio 2 weekend. The second is Steve's going to be at the Overlander all weekend with George. So it's easier for him to get parked at the Overlander festival with the big thing and me find a space for this in town. Well, guess who made it here in one piece with no incidents at all? Obviously me, because I'm talking to you. Um, I stopped off for petrol. I would say I filmed it, but I didn't because, do you know that thing when it's a new vehicle and you're not quite sure how things 100% work, you think, you know, I wasn't going to do that on camera for you, so that's fine. Um, I will have to move this van to a different area of the show um, did I even tell you where I'm coming first? I'm at the Adventure Overland show for just one night only. Um, I managed to get here an hour before Steve. I will have to move it. I'm not going to park this up in the YouTube area because I won't be able to move it in the morning and I do need to get off early. So I'm here. I'm going to wait for my husband. We'll probably do a bit of joint vlogging for the rest of the evening. And I'll pick you up on my own tomorrow. You're here. Yes, we are. <laughs> Come and have a look at my van. Okay. So welcome to my auto sleeper Warwick Duo. Okay. And in we go. Okay. Well, this is lovely. What do you think, George? Yeah. Hi yeah. me. Very warm, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got two single beds here that probably turns into a double. I have one front swivel seat. Ta-da. And a small little wet room in here. Yeah. Okay. 
That works. Cool, isn't it? It's perfect, perfect for a couple of nights. Right. It's perfect. Absolutely. You even got fridge down here, cooker, and a sink. Not Absolutely. that you'll be doing much cooking and washing up. I can do any cooking. I've got some paper plates as well. <laughs> I might make a cup of tea. That's about it, is it? And a coffee in the fancy coffee maker. Okay. Even has a microwave up here. Or, of course, a bread bin. Yes. No bread, either. <laughs> <laughs> I've bought the absolute bed. No, I've bought far too many clothes. Probably too many coats, too many shoes. And no food. Right. Get Everything. in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, Steve. How are you? All right? Yeah, I'm good, man. Good to see you. Wicked. She's only just spotted our ring doorbell on the motor. I know, I just said that. I said, she's had it for two years. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. I had a really quick giggle about it by myself. But she did. She goes, <laughs> look what I've just done. <laughs> this is Conrad. He watches our videos and he reached oh, out to us good. after the accident. So Conrad is having a look at the damage and uh, what do you think, bud? <laughs> hey? This rail that concerns me. It's the rail. Yeah. The main damage is behind this sticker right here. Yeah, that's easy. Conrad owns a paint shop called Paintworks in Porthcool, and he's confident he can fix this for us. So I'm dropping it down to him next month. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to see how well he does fixing this for us. Good morning, my love. Good morning. Look, my camera's smaller than your camera. <laughs> but mine fits in my handbag, which is the most important thing for this weekend. Right. Is she heading off now? I am. I'm so excited. Can't so, wait to get there. Radio 2. Big weekend. Who's on? I think. Uh, today is headlined by Tears for Fears. I think there's Texas, there's Banana Rama. Um, I keep saying different ones each time. And tomorrow, Rick Astley, Kylie, they're the highlights for me, I think. Right, I am going to head off, so I will see you on Monday sometime, my love. Okay. See you later, my love. Bye, nicely. Okay. So that's Lynn's gone and it's just us left behind, George. Really? Yay, should we have a look around the show? Let's go. Banana leaf, Thai food. What are we having, George? Spring rolls? Yeah, spring rolls, I think. That's spring roll, Georgie. They're good, aren't they? Always would recommend. <laughs> Lexi? Gorgeous. And four spring rolls for a fiver. Such good value. I'm feeling very pleased with myself. This is... This is a Just Park booking that I found by accident. So I'm in an Asda car park and I've managed to tuck right into the corner. I'm going to be here for the next 48 hours or so. I've paid about £13.50. What a bargain! And look how amazing my parking is in this. Tucked right in. I'm going to head into Asda and get a few provisions because I'm not sure chocolate digestives is going to be enough. There we go. I've bought a couple of meal deals, some loo rolls and some pastries for breakfast tomorrow. The next job is to get the back ready for when we get back so we can just fall into bed and go to sleep. Right, that's it. The sheets are on. Next thing to do is put on our cushions. Now, if you are a regular on our other channel, you'll know what a cushion is. It is a cushion that unzips to a lovely big blanket. So that's what we're sleeping under tonight. There we go, snug as a bug in a rug. Now, if you want to have a look at the cushions, I'm gonna put a link to our Amazon store in the description somewhere. All the information's there. Right, I'm settled in nicely, so I'm gonna make myself a coffee. And we have been given this to try. It's an outing. It's something that I was actually looking at for Steve as a Christmas present a couple of years ago. Um, but they've updated the design and it looks fantastic. So it's dead easy. I add water, I add a pod, I press a button and out comes fancy espresso coffee. So first of all, I take this lid off and put water in. Just here. Seal it back up, flip it over. I guess you could do this in either order. I can hear it brewing. My sister's just arrived. And like I said, it's like I've perfectly timed the coffee brew for her. She's a real coffee drinker. I'm more of a tea drinker, but she loves the coffee, so this is nice. It smells absolutely amazing. Good to know I'm not the only sister who has possibly slightly overpacked. We're not planning to drink a lot, and we're not planning to drink early, but Laura got some really cold pink gins out of her car, so we're going to have to have one while it's still cold, I think. Didn't last very long. I can't tell if the camera picks it up enough or not, but... I've got girl glitter on and that is the difference between being a boy mum and being with a girl mum. My sister has put glitter on me and it's lovely. I wonder what the boys are doing right now. I've just come across these guys, Veterans in Action. Um, they were talking about Morocco, that, that got my attention. But also they've got some of these 
um, 270 and 180 wrap round um, awnings, which I'm really interested in for our new project. Um, but I got chatting to the guy, and uh, they've been they've been over to Ukraine a lot, um, helping over there. And it's the first time doing one of these shows in a while. But have a look at some of the gear they got here. So this one here is uh, what the team are in, and they've got these Oz tents and the back. And uh, look at them all set up. This is where the crew are sleeping. We're in one of these wrap round awnings in the back here. Um, and this is sleeping, I think, six or eight of the guys in. It's lovely and cosy in here. Uh, and they go all around the world. But they're doing some great things. And they are a charity. Veterans in action. Maybe check them out. And that's neat, look. <laughs> Little hammock hanging between the two Land Rovers. And this is the one I got my interest. It's the Dash 180. Yeah. Little wrap round all in here. And they've got one either side. One this side and one over this side. And I think they're going to try and enclose it in with a with a roof over here. So guys, I'm here with Billy, and he's the one that set up this charity, um, but I want him to tell you a little bit about it. Billy, he was just explaining that he thought the expedition was the way, but it isn't. Tell me, tell me that again. Yeah, it's for me, I, I did a lot of expeditions in the army, and I thought always the expedition was what we all wanted to do, and that was a bit that'd make you better, until we started building vehicles. And when we started building vehicles in the workshop, I realized the longevity of building vehicles was the real therapy. That was the bit that brought people together, made people feel part of a team again. Yep. Men in the military were all used to being part of a team, and sometimes that lo we lose that when we leave the services. We're trying to give that back to that team ethic of working together to help each other, and that's what the process is all about. Brilliant. And then the end game then is, when you do build the vehicles, going off on the expedition. Yeah, so the nice bit at the end, so yeah. we all want to do the nice bit, yeah. but to get to the nice bit you must do the hard bit, which is the building of the vehicles, but that's the, where the real changes are made. If you've been on an expedition, and somebody's new on an expedition, you always know, for two weeks of that expedition, you're finding your place, Right. we find our place in the workshop, so when you go on the expedition, you enjoy the expedition as a whole. So it's the whole thing, you take it all in because you're already part of the team. So guys, I'm going to put a link down below. Um, go over and send them some love and go and check them out because what they do in is fantastic. So George has been calling me. Apparently he's won some things. So let's go and see what he's got. So what you got, George? So I went to a raffle or whatever you call it. A tombola, I tombola, think they call it. Tombola, that's it. Um, and I paid £2 for... 10 tickets and I got this. Wicked. A little robot. And Lexi. <laughs> give me this. Awesome. Fantastic. She's got even bigger swords. Excellent. Yeah, so Tom Bowl is where it's at then, eh? Yes. Awesome. Like, it's mad. I can't <laughs> Brian. His name like is. Oh, his name's Brian. So these guys are hungry and they want spaghetti bolognese. So we put it in the microwave for 10 minutes and the batteries are currently 84% but it's pulling 1150 watts load. But we are getting 130, 940 on the solar so let's see what the batteries are like when these finish. Right, that's them done and we still have 82% on the batteries. So the microwave on for 10 minutes just used 2% of the batteries. And there's them sorted. How is it guys? It's gorgeous. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I'm joking, I have. It's really good. I wonder how Lindsay's getting on. How middle-aged and middle-class am I? I've got glitter on my face and a deck chair. We're off. I'm going to get a taxi and get down to Victoria Park. Let's go explore. We decided the best way to see where everything is is to get on the Ferris wheel for a good look. Just thought I'd take a minute to introduce my sister, Laura. Cheers. Cheers. Right, what do you got all them devil snaps for, George? Okay, so yesterday we bought one box of these. They were 50p. Right. Pretty good deal. Today we went back and they offered us this whole box that's 50 boxes with 50 snaps in them that's a lot for 10 pounds so i'm gonna sell 30 make maybe 10 5 10 pounds profit and and then you have the rest free yeah awesome bud you sold any yet yes i have this is all my profit fantastic mate you got another customer yes they're coming in like so what are you doing mate? how much are they so it's 75 for one, but one pound for two. Well, that's a deal. How many are you having? One. Uh, one pound for two. Okay. One pound for two. Fantastic. That's lovely. All right. Thank you. Meanwhile, back in Leicester. The ship called Dignity. James Blunt crowd surfing on a Union Jack dinghy, something I've never seen before. Hilarious. 
So how have we done this afternoon with sales, George? Oh, really good. Um, first, we got loads of sales, then ads came in. We get paid £10 for 20 We got a whole new box, now we've sold loads. We're on our last ones on the second box. Might buy more one day, but right now I don't need to. And um, we've made like 20, 22 pounds profit. Fantastic, buddy. How are we doing? How are we doing? Hey. How are we at? Seven nil up. I'll say that. I always support Wales when they're winning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning about 20 to 9. Um, we actually slept really well last night. I think I stopped recording um, around about Texas. You can say what you want but it won't change my mind. I feel the same about you. We were drinking Bacardi and Coke and you know what? You didn't need to see that. But anyway, Texas was fabulous. They were followed up by... Banana Rama. Anyway, um, our park up last night was in an Asda car park. We're tucked right in the corner there. And if I swish you around, there's Asda behind me. Look at that for amazing parking. I'm so chuffed. Gears, gears, gears. And I managed to park it really well because it's huge. You guys may remember Simon who fitted the air conditioning unit. Well, we're at the Adventure Overland Show today and Simon's here. So he's come to have a look at the aircon and all the problems we've been having. Um, and a couple of myths you guys have been in the comments about. Um, a lot of you said maybe it needs topping up. It needs um, refluid. And, and you don't do that with these. These are a sealed unit. So they don't need that doing. Um, problem why this was going wrong. It's over 40 degrees temperature. That is why this has not been working. It's the maximum working temperature is, is 40 degrees, and we were in like 45 degrees temperature. So that is why it was given up the ghost. As soon as we got down to kind of into the 30s, it was working fine again. But Simon's here this morning. He's given it a quick look over and a quick service. Thanks, Si. No problem. And, uh, and there we go, guys. So the aircon is back working again. Thumbs up for Truman. See you later. So we've been sent a cozy lounger by Flextail. So let's open that up and see how it works. So you just unroll it like that. Press the button. And there you go. In less than two minutes, that is inflated like that. Jump on, George. Oh, that is comfy. You can also use the USB socket to plug your phone in and charge it as well. Comfy Georgie? Yep. I wonder what mum's doing. We are starting the day with a Weatherspoons breakfast, which I've never had before, but for 6.50 and free refills, this is awesome. Right, two days off grid, not use the aircon. Let's see what the batteries are like. And there you go, 54% on the battery still. And there's been no sun, hardly any sun to get any solar in. So it looks like we'd last at least four days not relying on the solar with our battery setup. Now, if you guys don't know what our battery setup and our electrical setup looks like, I'll put a link below. You definitely want to check out that video because we've got a real special setup in here that allows us to run that air conditioning whilst we're off grid all night. Hey buddy, should we get a bite to eat before we hit the road? Thinking burger bunker. Okay, let's go. Sniper Alley, George, do you want to go? Great selection of rifles. Which one are you going for, George? I think I'm going to go for this one. Okay. I'm not sure what it's called. G36. 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 Brilliant shooting, well done. Thank you very oh, thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. The Burger Bunker. Here's our selection, look. What do you fancy, Georgie? Ooh. What have you got here? I've got a quarter pound cheeseburger with onions and all of the sauces. Enjoy, buddy. You too. So fancy going to Bouncy Castle? Nah, I've got a bad time. What do you think Mum's up to? Oh, good question. So we are so thrilled to say, please give a massive Leicester welcome to our friend and your favourite spaceman, Sam Ryder! So this is a new thing I've spotted, although I think it's been out for about a year. It's the uh, Alda Aqua Clear. Um, and it's got UV filter um, and it's also got inline filters as well so you can actually drink your water safely from your main tank so that's something interesting that we might look at it's been a good show isn't it George? absolutely it's been a great show the Overland show is always a good show for us I hope Lynn's and her sister's having as much fun as we're having eh? <laughs> right we've had a great weekend at the Adventure Overland show but we're going to hand you back over to Lynn's
Well, good morning to you. I hope you're okay. Me and my sister are fantastic. We slept really well last night in this van and the night before, actually. It's been really good. Um, I parked in an Asda, in an Asda car park. It's a couple of miles away from the festival site and it's been absolutely perfect. We've hopped taxis in and either walked part of the way, the whole way, or just hopped a taxi back when we've been going into the show. It's been brilliant. I booked this place through Just Park because it is a preferred supplier to the show. There were a couple of other camper vans here. I was a bit nervous about whether we'd get moved on because we're sleeping in the vehicle, but none of the terms and conditions actually said you can't sleep in your vehicle. So it's been perfect. And there are a couple of camper vans here. So, you know, safety in numbers. We've had an amazing weekend. Kylie last night just topped off what was, she's just so good at what she does. I'm not a huge Kylie fan, but she's had so many hits. We were singing, dancing, dancing in the rain. Other thoughts about this weekend. It's been good to do the kind of things that Steve does. Quite often when we go away, no, every time we go away, he's the one who thinks about the batteries, the water levels, um, where we're going to park. He, he puts all his brain power into that and I focus on other things. So it's been good to do that just for myself. So that's going to boost my confidence a little bit for when we're out in the the other little vehicle that we've got as a special project. When I arrived on Saturday morning, it was crackers busy, but I was very, very lucky to get this spot right in the corner. Um, it's been a perfect stop for the last couple of days. Now all I need to do is give it a last clean through, buy some bread and some fruit before I leave the, the Asda supermarket and say a huge thank you to Rob and all the guys at Oak Tree for lending it to me this weekend. You've been amazing. Thanks for helping me. Monday always used to be a huge shopping day for me and I hated it. But I've just had a notification to say my HelloFresh has been delivered. This isn't a sponsored video, but I will put a link in the description if you want to have a little look at it. Obviously, it's not a Roman Radford's video without a, a facilities tour. £17 on fruit bread and crisps whereas in the past I'd have gone into the supermarket and spent a hundred and probably fifty quid every week. Right I'm about ready to set off I've given the place a really good clean um, so it's ready to sell so if anyone's looking have a look and have a talk to a Robert Oatry. I think the highlights of this weekend were first of all spending so much time with my sister we had such a great time just the two of us uh in terms of music deacon blue in texas on saturday they were fabulous and then kylie yesterday oh rick astley was amazing as well but kylie there's a reason she's our queen isn't there Well that's it, I made it back to Oak Tree Motorhomes in one piece. The van has been perfect. Huge, huge, huge thank you to Rob and all the guys here for letting me borrow the van. It was the, I can't tell you, I've just had the most perfect weekend and I've loved it. So thanks again Rob, we love you loads. I've just done one last job that I don't usually do and it didn't even occur to me to take you with me. I've just emptied the loo. So, time to put the cassette back in and say thanks to Rob and the team. Look at this, that's awesome. Look what I've just spotted. The fella who's driving this is just coming for a look round. He's not looking to sell it, but look how cool. If you were a kid in the 80s, then you will know this. Saturday afternoons with my dad on the sofa watching the A-Team. 